What is up guys? I am Kyobrick and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. Today I'm here to show you the second episode of my Star Wars The Old Republic building series in which we are building Darth Malgus' throne room from the Flashpoint The False Emperor. And I gotta say we're making some very nice progress. The mock is already starting to look epic and what I have is just a small portion of what I'm planning. I've already finished the first phase of the build you saw in the last episode and could move on to the next one which will definitely be something way harder. But before we start, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel to be sure you won't miss any episode of this series as well as any other videos that I publish. But back to what's really important today. Before I could move on with any progress on what I showed you in the last episode, I had to make a few orders on Bricklink, so first let's check out what I got. And let's start with the tiles I will need for smoothing everything out. So we have here some dark bluish grey 1x1s, a bunch of 1x3, 1x4, 1x6, as well as 1x8. I also got some 2x4s for the pylons and even a few inverted ones I had a very little of. And I also took some light bluish grey 1x3s and 1x6 because I'm slowly starting to run out of them. Next in line are dark bluish plates, 1x4s and 1x6, and some longer ones that the seller had left. For detailing I took those modified plates with railings, both short and long ones. And since we're talking about modified plates, here I got some dark grey jumpers, both 1x2 and 2x2, and a bunch of light grey 2x2s. Also a couple of light grill tiles and the most important parts to finish the pattern on the walkway which are these 1x2 slopes, again both in dark and light bluish grey. Here I have some bricks to use later on, a couple of brackets for the pylons, two panels for the floor and the black fence panels I talked about last time to finish up the bottom of the platform. And finally we have a 2x4 slope I will have to replace from the singles I had to use on the platform, a bunch of black droid arms for attaching the fence panels, a couple of smaller elements and a Republic Trooper I just had to get when I saw that the seller had him. I will definitely find a place for this guy somewhere on the mock. Ok guys, now since we have that covered, let's check out the actual progress I was able to make using these parts. And yeah, the walkway is finished and I have to say I am very happy of how it turned out. Of course the stand I made here is just temporarily so I could move it around freely on my table and finish it both on the top and from the bottom. Later on I will return to the transclear panels I used in the last episode or maybe even I'll switch them to cylinders if I get my hands on the proper amount of those. But back to the platform itself. As you can see I've mirrored the whole design of the floor I had last time and man it looks good. I struggled a bit while doing it the first time but now it took me a lot faster since I knew how to place the individual slopes. Of course I can't say it was an easy task because this technique gets harder at the end when you have less space in the frame that you need but overall it's worth it. And the side bricks are actually less pushed aside as I thought they would be. As I finished the pattern, then I made all of the 6 pylons using the brackets I've ordered with a technique I've already established last time so nothing too hard here. But again, the look of it is exactly what I've envisioned in my head. I can already see the Jedi rushing through this walkway eager to fight Malgus. Now going to the sides, of course I had to finish the lower parts of the pylons here but also I attached the railings using the parts I got. And it made me thinking. Should I leave it like that or should I rotate them so the negative starts are facing upwards? What do you think is the best option? Let me know down in the comment section. And speaking of the bottom of the platform, I finally covered it all nicely with black plates so the colors would not reflect from whatever surface I placed my mock on. I am also thinking about placing some pipes and cables hanging down but there will be time for that at the end of the whole build. And finally let's talk about the front because this is something I wanted to do a lot since I haven't made greebles for a long time. 
In my opinion, it's a nice contrast from the rest of the smooth surfaces all around. It really gives that feel that the bridge was cut in half, leaving all sorts of electro trash sticking out, don't you think? Now, the other side isn't finished up yet, because it will all depend on how the connections will be to the second segment. I mean, they will be definitely connected with Technic pins, but I don't want to build here before I have the staircase section finished. And speaking of which, it's time to show you guys how will the rest of the build look like. And man, it's gonna be huge. I try to keep the proportions from the game as much as possible, and the size I got is something I didn't expect. I mean, I know it's going to be a big mock, but this is just going to be insane for me. Definitely the biggest build I made so far, and I'm going to have to order a whole lot of new elements for it. But hey, no one said building mocks is a cheap hobby, right? Anyway, I decided to make two separate segments that will be in the end connected to one another, with the first being the staircase and the slanted walls on the sides, and the second, or actually the third section, will be the upper part of the platform with the throne in the middle and the seat statues on the sides. So the stairs segment already have a target shape that I'll be working on and is enforced with a bunch of bricks on the inside that will make up for the base of the build. The sides were a bit tricky, but I figured I will make them using wedge plates and connect it with a bunch of hinge pieces and a mixel joint. That way it came out very sturdy which was the top priority since the whole thing will be suspended in the air. The next step was to cover it up and now I'll we'll have to make the desired shape of the sides and cover them similar to the ones on the walkway using minifigure stands. In the middle I have most of the staircase done and I think the design is looking quite good and most importantly it's looking very similar to the game. As you might remember from the previous episode, I plan to light it up from the inside and that is why I used trans clear plates in the middle. I left some space under the stairs and covered it up with white parts to make the light brighter and spread evenly on each step. Since the steps are made using a lot of jumper plates, they are not very sturdy so I had to enforce them from the sides with a bunch of bricks that will also stop the lights from flashing in places they are not supposed to. Now I just have to order a few parts to make a couple more steps and start building the side walls and the upper part of the platform. But that is the topic for the next episode since this is basically the whole progress I got for you guys this time. Still a lot of work ahead but it's all going very smoothly for now and gets me hype every time I think about how it will look in the end. But what are your thoughts on the build? Let me know in the comment section below, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. I will see you all in the next episode, probably in about 2 weeks time, and until then stay safe and keep it bricking.